Hey everyone, here is one last Lorcana box opening before retail release. I actually have no idea what the release will be like. I think many of us are wondering the exact same thing. How much products will be available at big box stores on September 1st? There are already Walmart stores uh, putting product out on shelves. And uh, who knows? We'll see. Uh, if product is easy to come by, if singles go up, go down, it'll be an exciting time. All right, let's start with a bent, sudden chill, Phil. He's got a sword, control your temper, friends on the other side, Kristoff, Tamatoa, Gramatala, Mickey Mouse, Scar, Rockstar Stitch, Stitch, and a foil, Jumba Jukiba. Yeah, part of the question is if it's worth driving around on Friday or if, uh, you know, all the shelves already be empty, so it won't be worth the time. Got a rare Jafar, rare poisoned apple, and foil magic broom. Got Megara, Mickey Mouse, Peter Pan, Simba, Jafar, Hercules, Cheshire Cat, Belle, You Have Forgotten Me. Got Grab Your Sword, Just In Time, and a Foil Stampede. I mean, I think in general, most people want product to be available. That way everybody can play the game. Um, if product isn't available, I think that'll be a huge turnoff for a lot of people. We'll have to wait till maybe mid-September for this uh, second wave printing to... Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's not too long of a wait. We can get some people to jump in then. We've got Genie. Powers Unleashed, and our first Legendary Stitch, and a Foil Rare Plasma Blaster. Duke of Wesselton, Maleficent, Aladdin, Minnie Mouse, Jetsam, Fire the Cannons, Joomba Jukiba, One Jump Ahead, Be Our Guest, our Rare Fishbone Quill, Super Rare Hans, and a Foil One Jump Ahead. Horus, Work Together, Pongo, Hey Hey, Freeze, Prince Eric, Frying Pan, Fan the Flames, Anna, got a rare Maleficent, a rare Maui, and a foil Kristoff. Now this one jump ahead is uh, interesting to price because for some reason the TCG market has it over $12. I don't know if this was just very, very popular early on, but I think sales are closer to $5, which is a little bit more closer to what I would expect. Stolen Simtar, Develop Your Brain, Abu, Pumba, Maleficent, Tinkerbell, Jasper, Chief Tui, LaFu, Rare Captain Hook, Super Rare Teka, and a Foil Flounder. Alright, one third of the way through with our eighth pack. Don't get anything fancy in here? Peter Pan, Phil, Minnie Mouse, Dingle Hopper, Archimedes, Simba. Ransack, Rapunzel, Elsa. We have our beautiful rare Lilo that's still holding great value. Rare Iago. And, ooh, a foil super rare Maximus. Great pull there. Tinkerbell, Merlin, Gaston, Mr. Smee, Elsa, Beastmere, Mad Hatter, Scepter, Verendel, Cinderella. Got a rare Maleficent, Super Rare Mickey, and a foil BR guest. And we've got Genie, Aurora, Sergeant Tibbs, Stitch, Yzma, Cer Cerberus, Simba, Cut to the Chase, Ursula's Car Cauldron. Rare Dr. Facilier. Ooh, look at that great legendary pull. Elsa. Foil Tangle. Got Sudden Chill, Donald Duck, Goofy, Hakuna Matata, Magic Broom, Goons, 
the beast is mine i have the fates maximus super rare the queen and tamatoa and look at that foil foil lilo One thing I'm hoping to see a lot more of when product when there's more product is just more sealed and draft events. Those are just so much fun. You get to open a bunch of cards, keep what you open, and then you know just play some good games without it having to be, uh, you know, the full full on constructed decks that uh, that be prepared. Where you know full on constructed decks where you know your opponent very very well may likely be running four of these. Musketeer Tabard and a Foil Sebastian. Which nothing wrong with Constructed. There's going to be plenty of time and place for that. Um, it's just uh, unfortunate that since product is so scarce, I think we're seeing a lot fewer limited events than we would otherwise. Not vicious Betrayal, Mufasa, Abu, Timon, Tinkerbell, Aladdin, Mother Knows Best, Coconut Basket, Prince Philip. We have our Rare Lantern. And our Super Rare Ariel, which I believe the price of this is finally going up as people are realizing how good it is. Um, I think, you know, people forget. Um, first of all, it, it very likely draws a card. Um, maybe not very likely. I don't know the actual numbers on it. But, you know, replaces itself perfectly fine as a 2-3 with one lore for three. But then it plays Grab Your Sword, plays A Whole New World, a lot of other, a lot of other songs potentially. But it's very important that you sing A Whole New World because you want to have as much ink as possible after playing that card so that you play things first before your opponent because um, I've played a lot of games where my opponent, you know, uses up all their ink for A Whole New World. Um, that kind of helps me more than them because I get to drop a bunch of cards with my newly full hand. So singing it, very good. And a foil frying pan. We got Peter Pan, Mickey Mouse, Peter Pan, Mr. Smee, Elsa, Break, Donald Duck, another Donald Duck, Rafiki. We've got our rare Hans, rare Jasmine, and foil Tinkerbell. Don't know what to think about this Jasmine. It's surprisingly worth a decent amount. I wonder if that's just because it's a very popular princess card, and the other one is, uh, I don't know if it's an, un I think it might be an uncommon, but you know that one's maybe not that special. So this card uh, has uh, just become a chase as a result. Got Mickey Mouse, Mufasa, Pongo, Simba, The Wardrobe, Kristoff, Dr. Facilier's Cards, Aurora, Ariel. Got our rare Flotsam. You know, I, I was pretty sure this box was going to have a Gantu. I don't know that distribution is completely random, but this is uh, the last box in a case, and we haven't seen a Gantu yet, so here he is. Hopefully you are not our last legendary of this box. <laughs> Got a foil Vicious Betrayal. Again, about distribution of boxes. Uh, you know, there are those occasional seven or seven plus legendary uh, boxes. I'm really hoping that, you know, there wasn't one in this case yet. So, really hoping, but we'll see what happens. Got a rare Scar. Super rare Mulan. And a foil Fan the Flames. All right, on to the last third here. Speaking of Mulan, really wondering if somebody will be able to create a deck around her. The effect seems really strong, but it does require you to have multiple characters on the field to kind of matter. But it feels like just also very good in, you know, a racing situation to just suddenly kind of turn the tables of, of what the math is, you know, with who's ahead or who's behind. If you just suddenly get a bunch of extra lore, maybe even that two or three points could be enough. Genie, Develop Your Brain, Scar, Healing Glow, Dr. Facilier, Prince Eric, got Flynn Rider, Triton, Goofy. Got our rare Maui card. Ursula, Shell Necklace, and a foil rare Iago. Horus, Jasmine, Elsa, Control Your Temper. Oh, I guess she is a common. I think, um... Uh, you know, it's interesting because some of these, like Mickey Mouse and Kristoff, I think some of these are common and some of these are uncommon with the same cost stat line. 
probably just due to the ink color. Maleficent, Beast Mirror, Lilo, Dragonfire, Sven. Got rare Cruel de Vil. And that's a great whole new world. Super rare and a foil Cerberus. Got Tinkerbell, Magic Golden Flower, Goofy, Hey Hey, Freeze, Aladdin, Jumba Jukiba, One Jump Ahead, LeFou, Gotta Let It Go, a Zeus, and a foil Mufasa. Also, wouldn't mind pulling a steel Tinkerbell here as a uh, They've been very popular, and I've had to trade a bunch of them away, so hopefully uh, open some more to replenish. Vicious Betrayal, Donald Duck, he's got a sword, Pumbaa, Jafar, Break, Frying Pan, Shield of Virtue, Ursula's Cauldron, got a Sword of Truth Rare, a Genie, Super Rare, and an Abu Foil. Alright, just four packs left. Can we crack a Foil Legendary? Duke of Wesselton, Maleficent, Aladdin, Minnie Mouse, Friends on the Other Side, Simba, Tamatoa, Scepter of Arendelle, Be Our Guest, got our rare Mickey Mouse, beautiful legendary Rapunzel, one of the most in-demand legends right now, great pull, and a foil Anna. All right, we've already hit kind of the four legend supposed average, so... Anything else on top is, uh, is good, right? Three more packs. Magara, Flounder, Sergeant Tibbs, Dinglehopper, Yzma Goons, Simba, Tigger, Pascal, got our rare Moana, rare Steel from the Rich, I believe that's a foil legend we see here. That is a beautiful, beautiful Mickey Mouse. The price on this has gone up a lot recently. Um, the non-foil is actually still staying around 25 I think, but uh, I don't know if people are just realizing these are kind of hard to get, and it's a very iconic foil card to have. So, great pull. Very happy to see that. Stolen Centaur, Aurora Tangle, Stitch. Archimedes, Tinkerbell, Cheshire Cat, another Bell, Maximus, got our rare Ariel, super rare Maximus, oh wow, oh wow, what a great box, what a great box to end this on, that is an Enchanted Aladdin, that is gorgeous, beautiful, so happy to see this card, look at that. The great alternate full art. Oh, doesn't matter what's in this last pack, right? <laughs> we, we've done great here. Stampede work together, Gaston, Akuna Matata, Magic Broom, Cerberus, Starkey, Fan the Flames, Anna. We've got our rare Magic Mirror, our rare Stitch, and a foil Timon. Like we said, what a great box to finish on few solid super rare pulls we've got our queen we've got our whole new world we've got our rockstar stitch we've got a foil super rare maximus foil brave little taylor mickey mouse i'd say two very good legends a not so good legend and a very not so good legend and then again just a beautiful enchanted rare what a great box to end on before retail release if you're able to get more packs i hope you all open very well as always thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and see you next time